All right, so I've been waiting to record this video for approximately 14 days. So I'm guessing you've already heard Kendrick Lamar has replied to the Drake diss track that came out recently. And I don't think I can put into words just how much I love this track. And I said to myself, I wouldn't record a video like this. But honestly, the beat's just too cold. So in today's one, I'm going to be trying to make a beat in the style of Euphoria by Kendrick Lamar. Bro, like, okay, so I messed up. I've been editing this video for three days. And in those three days, this entire beat, this entire video has become completely redundant. Because in that time, Kendrick has dropped his tracks back to back to back. And each one is better than the last. Basically, this video is like a week late. I apologize. I'm very sorry about that. If I had known he was going to body Drake like this, probably would have released the video like a day after. It is what it is. Hopefully you still enjoy, even though this video is kind of irrelevant by now. All right, moving on. I'm going to take the BPM to roughly 140. And to me, the melody kind of sounds like a toy orchestra. And I can't even remember where I saw this plugin from. But recently, I I love making melodies with this thing. Kind of reminds me of Purity, but just on steroids. And it's got a lot of toy instrument sounds. So I'm gonna look for a brass sound first. I'm gonna go into solo. Oh, some of the sounds in this plugin are so stupid, okay. Something simple like that works just fine. Clone this one. I think I'm gonna go up an octave and see if I can find a trumpet. Okay, so now I'm looking for a sound to fill it out a bit more, so I might actually go for an ensemble preset. I'm gonna add some grace notes here as well. This sounds so stupid. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna lay this pattern with something else. I might change the pattern slightly. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. I also noticed at the start of the track, there's some sort of bass guitar. So I'm going to try and add that in now. I'm going to use my usual VST for bass guitars, which is Trillion. This is the preset that I use most often. One of my favorite parts of the original track is like a church bell that they put in there. Needs some thickness to it though. I can't be using like Christmas bells or something. This is the bell that you hit just before you become Venom. I need to bring the volume down and I'm going to change the envelope slightly as well. I think I'm happy with that for brass instruments. I think I heard an organ in there somewhere. So I'm going to go into the organ section. I'm looking for a pipe organ. I'm going to mute the brass sounds. Oh, this is getting too confusing for me. I don't know why it doesn't sound right. I might just put it on octave up. I'm gonna try and condense this pattern a little bit. I'm gonna clone this melody and see if I can layer it with something else and make it sound a little bit better. I need a more Catholic organ, you know? If I lay that on top, what does it sound like? Okay, to be honest, I don't really want to listen to that anymore. I think it will sound good with effects. Okay, I'm going to turn on the brass instruments again. I don't know why. I want to use a flute in the second part of the beat. I know it seems like I'm adding a lot, but I'll take things in and out of the arrangement, you know? I need something that's 
sounds a bit more realistic. So I'm gonna go back into Splice and see if I can find a flute. Can't lie, I normally use this pack for drill beats, but... Don't really like the second part of that, but I can definitely use the first part. Can't lie, the mix is getting a bit out of hand, so I may want to start drums soon. To be fair, this might be a good time to try out some new technology. So recently I was sent a kit called the Drum Demon 3 sound kit by Prod Lucky, Prod Luki, Prod Luffy, I don't know. And in regards to drum sounds, percussion sounds in particular, it's now one of my go-tos. I'm probably gonna focus on the drum kit today because that's my favorite part. Of course, big thank you to Prod Lucky for making this video possible and for sending me the kit. Seems like a good time for me to test it out, so. Dune? I'm gonna find some way to try and incorporate Dune into this beat. I haven't really messed with the 808s too much in this kit, so I'm gonna see what I can find. Okay, that's like the most basic trap drum pattern I could come up with. I think I heard in the reference like some hand percussion. I don't know, like a small bongo hit or something. I'm gonna see if I can find something similar in Splice. Okay, I'm gonna leave that as the first part of the beat. I think for the second part of the beat, I'm gonna try and slow it down a little bit. I may even use a sample just to speed things up. I don't know. I'm gonna try and keep the drum bounce more or less the same. I would use one from the pack, but I don't wanna rely on it too much. I'm gonna try this kit again, you know. All right, new plan. I'm gonna throw the sample into Fruity Slicer. I think I'm happy with that. Truth is though, I got a lot of mixing to do. So real quick, I'm gonna mix everything down and arrange it and then we can play the final beat. I've been mixing the second part of the beat for so long, I don't even remember what the first part sounds like anymore. This is where the Dune inspiration comes in, okay? There's a lot of very aggressive synthetic sounds in Dune. Main point is I wanted something to fill out the high and mid frequencies. So I did that with this synth in Hive 2. I added some crystal clear, a distortion on it, and it sounds like this. 
But over the top of this, I think this is where the Oppenheimer influence comes in. I picked up this orchestra from Spitfire Audio, BBC Symphony or something like that. But when you layer this horn over the top of the synth, you get a really nice effect. Honestly, apart from that, I haven't really added too much. Can't lie, mix might be on the ropes for this one. I think I'll get there, it'll probably just take a bit more time. Before I play the final beat, I want to say a big thank you to Prod Lucky for sending me the Drum Demon 3 sound kit. I had a lot of fun cooking up with it. There will be an affiliate link in the description for you to check out. But yeah, I'm going to say a big thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration to make beats in this style, this video helps you in some way. I'm a, like, I don't know, I'm a big fan of this track. Anyway, this is what the final beat sounds like. <laughs> Okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga. I'm reaping what I so okay. Got a Benjamin and the Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe. Okay, hell okay. Made his own voice and them types sell they solo. Okay, everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your doorway. And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you got the money, the power, of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down? Like with a poker face? Have you ever paid? I hate when I rap or talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then I hop online, like pray for my city, he faking for life, then digital hugs, his daddy a killer, he wanna be junior, they must have forgot the shit that they done, dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky, I pass something, you're my first one, like my last one, it's a classic, you don't have one, let your core audience stomach that, then tell them where you get the abs from, V12, it's a fast one, wow, wow, wow. last one, headshot for the year, you better walk around like Daft Punk, remember? A top dog, who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit, only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither, I don't give a fuck about who you hanging with. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk, I hate the way that you dress. Surprise, you wanted that feature request, you know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga, but that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy, you ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still love when you see success, everything with me. Let's keep